Peace, power, and prosperity, family. This is Amir, the Chicago Crypto Hustler. Bitcoin Block Bully coming to you once again with an early rising show of Coffee and Crypto. Me and my man, Jay Bino. What's going on, family? I do apologize for being a bit late. We'll be about 10 minutes behind. Um, what I'm going to do now is share this link out to a couple of social media sites, share it out to a couple of individuals that, you know, tell me to give them the heads up when I do go live because I have been switching the time. But what I'm going to be doing from here on in is setting solid time. So every rise and I'm going to try, I might not do it every day. But 8 to 8 a.m. is going to be the time. Is that 7 p.m. behind me and 9, 9, I mean, 7 a.m. behind me and 9 a.m. ahead of me. You know, when it gets around 10 and 11, people get to moving around. I want to try to catch people in that sort of that median time. So I think between 9 and 6 is a good time for people to be waking up, starting to get on, you know what I'm saying, jumping on their smart devices or whatever, seeing what the new lick is for the day. For those interested in crypto, I want to be that lick that people come and check out. So I'm going to start doing this 8 a.m. every rise in Chicago time. Now, I'm going to try to come twice a day, if not a couple more times, but I'm going to at least try to do the 24-hour um, closing or opening. So um, UTC time, 24-hour crypto day starts 6 p.m. now since we've had the clocks turned back. So 6 p.m. is the 24-hour closing um, and opening of the day. So if I don't go exactly at 6 and watch it actually close and open, I may come at 7 and let an hour get in and see what type of action we got. Let me go ahead and share this out. Let a couple of viewers come in. You know what's going on with you over there, my dude? Nothing much. How's it going? Man, everything is truly well. Everything is truly well. Man, loving it over here on the Stellar X Exchange, man. I don't know if you've been over there and checked it out yet, but man, definitely um loving the uh options that they have over here. And it, a lot of interesting options on top of that, too. Yeah, it, it, it has a real good community and as far as in the trading, you know, they got a little troll section where you go ahead and uh communicate with everybody in there and kind of see what uh, um everybody's following. But definitely a nice uh, decentralized platform at that. So oh, I'm trying to log in real quick. Uh, definitely like nice. And, and now that I look at man, it's a lot of decentralized platforms I never really know about. But a majority of them is is ether based. So you know you got to spend that uh GUI or not? Nah, what is it? Is it GUI or gas for ether? It's gas for ether, right? right. Yeah. Well, the uh, yeah, yeah, it's gas. But right. the, the smaller um, denomination is the GUI or whatever. Yeah, the smaller. Yeah. Fifty eight point three. That's the only thing. Like when I was using that band cord, man, it was killing me on the gas side. It was killing me on the gas side. Like that, that, that wasn't what was up. So now that we got the Stellar X platform, man, definitely, definitely free, and they give you back that that what you spend. Like the little fees they do take, they give it back to you. Like man, that's this is new. This is <laughs> unheard of. I mean, in my opinion, it's unheard of in the financial uh, sector. You know what I mean? I know you more well in depth as far as stocks and everything goes. So I don't know. If there's any incentives or anything like that on the stock side where um whatever fee like like how you were saying the td ameritrade takes seven dollars uh, 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 a a trade like yeah. are there any platforms that i mean not like Robinhood, and i guess they say it's free but it gives you whatever you are putting towards something a little bit of that back into your account you know what i mean um I, not that i'm aware of i don't know any uh platforms that allow you to do that um i'm sure i'm, I'm pretty sure there is some though that give some sort of buyback incentive Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna run through right now is the top twenty. Um, damn, did I say that? Okay, we should be. What time is it? Eight thirteen. I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Let a couple people tune in. Um, let me see. Where is that story at? Did I got that Stella story? Ah, yeah. Here we go. This is one story that I want to bring. Um, Stella X. In fact, let's check out Coin Market Cap and make sure that it's still solid. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. Top five. All right. People might be like, all right, what that mean? They in the red. Like, shit, okay. I mean, that market cap grew. I mean, that yeah. bag got bigger. You know what I mean? Let me see. Stellar X becomes top five cryptocurrency pushing out EOS. And EOS is what? The, what was that? The J J China or Japan's version of uh, Ethereum, Bino? No, no. That was actually uh, the creator of Steemit. EOS? Um, he created, yeah, he created uh, Steemit and, um, uh, I believe another platform he worked on. Um, but yeah, he's actually the guy who created um EOS as well. Okay, 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 okay. I'm trying to think what the whole thing with e man, EOS was supposed to be EOS uh, was, 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 Ethereum killers. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those Ethereum killers, you know. Okay. But um it just was. allowing it it was uh the first one to have like a, a year long ICO. Right, 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 right. Over, uh off of the Ethereum network. Because first they were on the Ethereum network doing their ICO. And then uh, they switched off of the network. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe they had uh, a couple of issues the moment that they 
um, went on their own network. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. What, what price is EOS right now? I want to... EOS, what, $5.35? Let's see what EOS has been in the past when we had the great FOMO of 2017. Let's see. See what the height was with EOS. Oh, not too bad. 20 bucks. And that was, wait. Hmm. EOS is actually worth more damn near the middle of, uh, after everything else was crashing. EOS that, was well, that, that's because um, it did that when the, when it was hype around them going on the main net. Mm, okay. Um, and, and if I'm not mistaken, um, U.S. citizens weren't even able to um, activate their main net or something like that. Hey, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, we had, we had we had some. Remember, we had grabbed some, and then it was um, we weren't able to switch it to the platform. It was some. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, EOS is one of them ones that we weren't able to find nowhere but on like Gate IO in the beginning. Remember, they weren't allowing. If I'm not mistaken, it was one of them coins that where they were not the only place you could grab it in the United States that they allowed you was like Gate IO. I think that was EOS, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's kind of stabilized. This is that consolidation period I usually talk about. Look, 497, 648. So between, we've never went lower than that 497, I think. Look, this motherfucker been $5. Yeah. September, October, November. This is that consolidation period being on. This is that calm before the storm. It's that calm. Now, how long can this last is the question. You can go sideways for a while. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, most definitely. But you know, we um might be seeing a pop out of here. We're in uh definitely in a nice cycle. You look are you already looking at the uh fib? Yeah, I'm on, I got the fib on. Definitely pretty high, but um let me get this on real quick. Let me see what uh, viewers we got. Let me get to the chat. I'm not even looking at the chat, man. Let me uh try to get over here on the chat real quick. Just so I can see if we got people checking in. I don't want to keep rambling. Um that's another thing. I'm cutting the uh uh time down a little bit too probably about 30 minutes or so i just jagged about 10 of us we're gonna go over anyways um peace power and prosperity family what's going on so we got a couple of viewers if you want to y'all can go ahead and check in roll call name state country if you're checking in outside the country i know we had an individual checking in from south africa yesterday if i'm not mistaken yeah so, i'm just uh, horns wait you said what so he out there snatching up them Acon coins? Man, in fact, I should have asked him that. It, it, it totally skipped my mind to even um even ask him anything about that. Because I'm on the list for them to, you know, I guess release release whatever type of information they may be releasing or whatever the case may be. But I haven't um personally heard anything back from them other than the initial response email. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. definitely something I'm interested in. I, I, I like what he got going on over there. I love the idea. I just want to see how it's implemented. Um, so starting off the day right now, we're looking at the uh, market cap, coinmarketcap.com for those that may be new. Um, and what we're looking at right now is the market cap of not every single cryptocurrency in the space, because there are those that coin market cap does not recognize. And they are still part of that market cap. So when you look at this at 211 billion. Hmm. Unrecognized coins, Bino. What 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 you think unrecognized coins added onto this? What do you think we really got with a market cap? I, I, I can't tell how many unrecognized coins. Yeah, yeah, are. It, yeah. There's so many, so many coins out there. If you want to put it in that aspect, you know, uh, especially on these decentralized exchanges that aren't accounted for. Hmm. So. Right, right. I ain't think about uh, man. I ain't think about them decentralized licks. Um, you know what though? Oddly enough. Let me see, because I know Stellar X and them. Uh, let me see if Metamorph. Let me see if they got their actual. I know Stellar X. No, not Stellar X. Stellar Term, I think it is. This one right here. You can actually see the uh, the um, the market cap on Coin Market Cap. But it's it's two more Stellar decentralized exchange markets that you're not able to see the market cap on Coin Market Cap. You know what I mean? So yeah. those two alone got, I think, over. I mean, I can't, I can't even tell you. I don't know how much money. Now, let me ask you this, though. Hmm. Oddly enough, with those being, quote unquote, just like your personal wallet with a built in interface that allows you to interact with other people. Would you even look at that, like saying that it has a market cap or it does? OK, if I'm using Stellar X, it only has what I have on anything. Correct. Or 
Am I thinking about it wrong? Uh, no, I'm not sure. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, okay, we can tell Binance got whatever billion dollars in it right now. You know what I'm saying? We can go and look and see what the market cap is. If I'm looking at Stellar X and it, really I do have the private key to this wallet that allows me to interact with all these other people that got their they own wallets. If I, when I pull Stellar X and I log into my account, I'm logging into my personal wallet, correct? Uh, yeah, because it's uh, decentralized. It's not like, um, so I believe the Binance wallets, uh, the exchange in particular, um, the wallet is on Etherscan. Right, right. In fact, you're right. It is on Etherscan. It is on Etherscan. I think yeah. they have uh, five, five or six separate wallets for the Binance exchange itself. And in, in yeah. So if you go on like Etherscan and type in Binance, Binance two, Binance three, mm. it's gonna uh, it's gonna show you the Binance wallets and how many uh, coins are held in those wallets. Let's see. So at the same time, if you put some money on Binance, you're really not holding that money. That's their money now. Fact. It's in their wallet. Fact. And I've tried to tell people this plenty of times. That's that's quote unquote like a managed wallet, meaning you don't hold the private keys to it. Meaning that anytime, no, exactly. If they want to, let me see. How would I search? Hmm. Uh, type just type in Binance. In the search box. Yeah, type in Binance. Ah, right, here we go. Okay. Binance. Finance. Uh, hmm. Vote for Cortex listed Binance. What's all this stuff? Ah, okay. Here we go. Binance. Ha! <laughs> I want to check out number four. What's that? 16 million, 44, 44. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, my man, my apologies, family. My apologies for the language. <laughs> Swear to God, I just made my birthday. 4484. Yeah. Birthday. And what did I say? I'm like, let me pick number. Man, it's, hey, I'm going to leave that for another conversation. This be crazy, though. People just don't want to get it, man. <laughs> That's too wild. Uh, anyways, family, what we're looking at, right? I'm going to let you go ahead and break this down, Ben. I'm still flabbergasted. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so this is basically uh, the Binance wallet. If you want to click on that, uh, the the view of the total amount of uh, currency they have in that wallet. So in this wallet in particular, they have all these different uh, tokens, and that's how much they're holding of those tokens. Hmm. One hundred three thousand dollars worth of air swap, forty seven thousand of app coins, and some of these I've never even heard of. Let me see. Yeah, because it's just coins that are listed on their exchange. Right. 103 bread. Never definitely never heard of bread. They got over a hundred thousand dollars worth. Uh candy. Come on, now these ain't on the these these aren't on the Binance Exchange market. Come on, now they gotta hold on. They gotta cut this out. Hold on. Bread. Let's see. No, it is. Bread, bread and binance. Bread is going for three, 34 cents. Damn, it is. Wow. <laughs> My hands got a lot of coins, boy. Damn. Bread, huh? Yeah, they're getting that bread, man. Ooh, now what I like about Binance. Binance got a lot of uh, neat features, man. I, I don't think people really uh let me see. How do I do it? How do I do it? Um there's a way where they allow you. What is it, man? It's a way you can look at um here we go. And I'm loving how another thing, I don't know people that jump from uh, exchange to exchange, but another thing they started doing on a lot of these exchanges is allow you to use trading view. That, man, that's, I'm talking about on this, on KuCoin. Um, what other platform where I was on? I think Tidex, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, most, um, most, uh, most, uh, on? most charts are going to uh, use a trading view uh, API and stuff like that. Right, 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 right. Even and that see, uh that one that we use uh coin signals, they use trading view as well. The only right, difference right. is they don't have all the indicators that trading view will have. Let's see. Okay, so we in a what's this right here? We're looking at a one day chart. Man, look at them wicks. Whew. Let's see. What indicators they got on this one? Um, let me see. First no. before. Nope. No, no, you already know. They don't know <laughs> they, uh, they give us the first thing. Thing. Go ahead, what'd you say? No, I was saying you already know that's the first thing we go for. Yeah. 
And see, they don't have the accumulation distribution with markers either. I like that that uh, indicator also. Um, let me see. Let me see what this bread's about. Bread tokens will unlock a long list of perks for users of the bread platform. Token holders will enjoy discounts, sequential tiers of complimentary or exclusive access to pre. Bread provides a wallet app that can store and trade digital tokens. It supports multiple tokens, including Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. Okay. Uh, buy bread and establish crypto wallets seeking to open up gates to trading. So this may be like a, another little decentralized lick then, I'm, I'm guessing. From what I'm reading, okay, what is bread? Red is a rapidly growing decentralized financial service platform being used in over 140 countries by over 1 million users. Bread's mobile app allows users to store, send, and receive their digital assets easily and securely by connecting the user's crypto directly to the blockchain. In December 2017, Bread launched the BRD token, which enables a premium service and functionality within the app, as well as the first ever rewards and loyalty program for crypto users. The Bread token was a sellout event with 32 million USD worth of tokens sold in under 90. Man, what recession, right? <laughs> hey, I, hey, when I look at some of these token sales, it'd be like 30 billion and uh, 30 million. Like, what? Where did all the money come from, man? Man, there'll be some money in here. Hey, that's why I got to talk to you too about, about that Stellar platform. But, you know, I got one for us. I got one. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and get through the top 20 real quick. Man, I've been over here rambling along long enough, family. Um, who that? My man Marco Polo right now checking in. He's power and prosperity, bro. See what's going on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, coming in right now. First off, we got $211,152,159,062 in the market cap. We got a 25, 25 volume, nice. 25 volume of $13,373,844,515. BTC dominance is at a 52.3%. In fact, let me refresh. Well, no, I just came back. Never mind. Okay, um, 52.3% of the BTC dominance. Cryptocurrencies, there's over 2,094 different cryptos out there right now. There's over 15,806, uh, 816 different markets for you to shop on. Right now, coming in number one, Big Bank Hank, Bitcoin back down to 63, 63.58, um, down 0.7%. Ethereum coming in at 207, down 1.7%. Ripple still up, 51 uh, cents, up 0.6%. Bitcoin Cash kind of even and out. It's been moving sideways around, what, 525 30 last couple of days, 525.77 cent right now, down 0.8%. Stellar. In fact, let me bring that story. I'm going to bring the story next. Stellar X becomes top five cryptocurrency pushing out EOS. Yes. As you can see, coming in the number five spot now is Stellar Lumens. And oddly enough, oddly enough, I've been talking about this coin for the last couple of days, showing you the exchange market. Um, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be like that, which I put my attention to. You'd be seeing it. I don't know. Maybe just. Just because it stands out because I put my attention to it. Um, but in the number five spot with a market cap of four billion nine hundred and eighty-six million. It was just five billion. So they just went, they just went down a little bit. It was just five when we first came on here. Um, right now only trading at 26 cents though. It's 26 cents for the number five top five cryptocurrency out of two out of two thousand and ninety-four different cryptos, right? You got the top five. You got one of them things that's only 26 cents. People out here talking about you got all oh, this cost too much to invest, and what if it goes down? And what's twenty six cents? That's just for one share, though. It ain't nothing for you to get pocket change, couch change, ashtray change, under the car seat change, and go turn it into the little machine that turns everything into fiat, and then take the fiat to a Bitcoin ATM and invest. It's that easy. Uh, coming in at number six, we got EOS. EOS right now at five dollars and thirty three cents, down one point four percent within the last twenty four hours. Coming in at number seven, we got Litecoin. Litecoin right now at fifty bucks. Um. Litecoin, I'm bash. When Litecoin does jump, let's just say Bitcoin was to go from six thousand, we'll say to ten thousand, right? I'm not so much looking for the fifteen, twenty thousand, all that stuff. Let's just say Bitcoin's to shoot to ten thousand. I can see Litecoin probably going back to like eighty, ninety a dollar. You know what I mean? Hundred dollars, hundred and ten dollars, something like that. Um, very undervalued right now. Very undervalued. I remember when Bit when Litecoin first hit a hundred dollars, and then it skyrocketed after that. So the prices that we're seeing right now. Um, what I think one of the biggest problems is, I think people got real used to the quickness that crypto was paying them at one point in time. You know what I mean? I think it was like, especially those that only got in during the run, I think they had a misconception that that's how crypto works. And it's not. You can see something goes, like, in the stock market, what, they got five, ten year bear markets, Bino? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be bear for quite some time, on and on. Right, 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 right. So, I mean... Man, it's just people can't get too spoiled. 
can't get too spoiled or used to the way things 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 was working. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Wait a couple of months. This is this is this is the best times right here when the market's sideways and not going down, and you're able to accumulate a, a bunch of more coins mm -hmm. and wait for the run. This is the prime time right here. You know, I told you psychologically, they only like green candlesticks. They don't like nah. sideways. You know, they well, that's because they just want to be a part of something. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, they oh. wherever wherever everybody else is. Right, right, and losing their cookies. They losing yeah, exactly. their cookies. You exactly. jump in on something that's been pumped. It's been pumped for three days. You want to jump in and at the end, like, yeah, it's going. Like, what hell no? You're supposed to snatch him up while he was doing what? Like, okay, Litecoin right now, it's $50. You know how Litecoin, how long Litecoin's been around 50, 60 bucks for? That how many times someone could have, over a month period, you could have snatched up one with Litecoin. I'm not even saying go in and spend 50 bucks, but 20 here, 10 here. Over 30 days, you could have grabbed you one Litecoin if you ever wanted to get a Litecoin. Definitely. For all that all that time you've been waiting, just waiting to grab one. Even even yeah. even Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying? Just just continuously stacking up for all the people that weren't ever able to accumulate a Bitcoin. You know, now with that time where the price has been sitting sideways for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? It definitely hit a bottom a long time ago and just been sitting there. Right, right. And I, like I tell people, now is the time for you to utilize. So I'm gonna tell you what people are doing. People are sitting in Bitcoin waiting for it to go up. And just sitting there like, yeah, I, I got in at six, so it's stable, so I'm good for when it goes up. But you're not getting any more, though. You still got the same amount. So you're going to sit in that thing for three months just for it to show off to, you know, maybe 10000 and then cash out? Hell no. Now you can always trade in and out and just accumulate more and more and more. Man, that's the name of the game, Bino Tua. It's never about the dollar amount. It's only about the coin count. What time I, I guess it's more on a... Uh, investment and a trading standpoint. You know, if you're trying to be an investor and you're investing in Bitcoin or you're investing right. in these crypto, right. you know, then yeah, just go ahead and, and hold down. You know, now nah, nah, you 100 percent right, but I gotta stop being so yeah, because you're a trader. You're right. you're you're a, you're a trader all day. Right, and that that that's that, that's the thing. I'm not getting myself. Everybody's not a trader, so I can't really push that that belief system on. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, if if you want to sit in these, that's cool. That's that's a hundred percent cool. Don't you know what I'm saying? It's just the way I look at it, like damn, but nah, because you know, honestly, honestly, the traders need people to sit in it. You know what I'm saying? Because the more people that are sitting and holding it, you know what I'm saying? The traders are in and out. Right, right. It's that balance, that duality, I guess. And yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Let me you go ahead. With, finish, finish the. Uh, let me see where we at. Seven, uh, eight Cardano. I mean, seven cents. How many of these could you have been accumulating over the past? We'll say three months. Three months for Ada. And this is a well talked about uh coin. Very I'm talking about community driven. Like coins uh -huh. like Cardano, uh Tron, like Tron even, even V Chain, bro. V Chain got a community so V Chain under a penny. <laughs> Man, that right there? Lick. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Lick. Go ahead and spend a couple dollars on these shits. You know what I'm saying? People spend money on stupid shits. They're out there buying all type of materialistic shit here and there. And, but then they talk about they don't have money for things. But you have the new... We're going to leave that. Uh -uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see. Coming in at number eight, we got Cardano trading at seven cents, down 1.6%. Coming in at number nine, we're going to get a podcast. Don't worry about it. We're going to talk about all that shit. Coming in at number nine, you got Monero, who's under the threshold. I usually tell y'all between 95 and 105 is what you want to look for for entries. And this is not financial advice in any way, shape, or form. Let me put that out there right now. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a tax advisor. I cannot and I will not give you financial or tax advice. What I will do is share my own knowledge and experiences with cryptocurrency and other financial instruments and give you some entertainment for about 30 minutes to an hour. That's all. Entertainment. Take this shit for what it is. This is like Watching The Simpsons. You know what I'm saying? It's just entertainment, family. Don't take none of this serious. That's it. That's it. Coming in at number yeah. 10, man, we got Tether, um, which is the crypto uh, down to 98 cents. Man, the market, market taking a little hit right now. Um, down 0.5%. Uh, Tron right now coming in. Oh, no, my fault. For those that may be new, Tether is a cryptocurrency equivalent to the United States dollar, or supposedly supposed to be. I don't know. There's a lot going on with the auditing, and do they have the money back by it? And What you don't comprehend is this is supposed to be so Tether would be a, 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 a security token then, right? Because it's backed by a physical asset. Correct, Bino? Am I saying that right? Hello? Bino. I think we lost Bino, y'all. Let me see. 
Yep, I believe we lost Bino. Let me try to uh let me try to get my man back in here real quick. Uh yeah, okay. Okay, he he right back, he right back. Okay. All right, bet, bet, bet. Um what I was saying was say, when they say tether is supposed to because tether Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Bino, can you hear me? Yo, Bino, can you hear me? I don't believe you can hear me, family. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh my, my phone cutting in and I can't even hear you. Okay, can you, can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, while he gets that together, we'll go ahead and okay, go. Okay, okay, I can. Can I can hear you now? You can. Yeah. Okay. What I was saying was, tether's supposed to be back dollar for dollar for every tether that's out there, correct? Uh, supposedly. Right, supposedly. I'm not saying that it is, but supposedly it's supposed to be backed by so it's backed by actual assets. So that will make it what a security token or a utility a security token, correct? Because it's backed uh, by an actual physical asset, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Sounds like they would list that under something like a security token. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I was on point with that. Um uh, yeah. in, uh, that's definitely ahead, a great area that we gotta watch out for that's coming up as far as uh, what's gonna be considered a security token and what's gonna be considered a utility token. Right, right, right. And just the difference of it is, is, I mean, when you listen to the words, that's why we got to be real keen on words. Utility. What is a utility? Security. What is a security? Security is something that is secured or backed by a physical representation of that which it is representing. So, um, and so I'm assuming these utility tokens will be used to utilize the platforms. Uh, right, something like exactly. a dropper will be considered a utility token. Say, which one? A uh, dropper. Yeah, drop drop is a utility token. You use it for something. It has a use case. Whereas something like Atlantis Blue, right? The one I was showing you with the crystals. Yeah. There's no use case of those the, the stone. It's I mean, just a the, store of uh, value. Right. Those those tokens are supposed to be rep a, a, a digital representation of the actual physical crystal. So I believe they said the tokens are supposed to represent one gram of landmark. You understand what I'm so, saying? Yeah, yeah. So it has a backing to it. it it's right. redeemable for some, yeah. Right. There, there you go. It's redeemable for an actual um, asset, almost like how before we got taken off the gold standard, how our, our notes were. You know what I mean? The yeah, exactly. Certificate. You were able to go redeem the dollar for a dollar's worth of gold or whatever. The case, I mean, silver, whatever the case may be. Nowadays, you can't redeem that dollar for anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pay a debt with it. That's about it. Um, Not definitely. That's, that's security. That's utility. We're not going to get into the whole law thing, but we do want you to realize and comprehend that there is a difference. You got utility tokens and you got security tokens. Now, they did came, come out and say that both Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities, correct? I think that's uh, it. I'm, I'm not sure. It would, it, would seem like, um, it would seem like Bitcoin will be a security and Ethereum, Ethereum will be a utility. But see, what Bitcoin ain't backed by no physical asset. I mean... Because it's not backed by the United States dollar. It's, it's, it's a world currency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Okay, here we go. Bitcoin, and I've seen this. This is CNBC. Bitcoin okay. and not securities. Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah, this is, um, in fact, let's get this. Let me run through this real quick. The SEC's point, man, on cryptocurrencies and initial coin offerings says that Bitcoin and Ether are not securities, but that many, but not all, ICOs are securities and will come under the regulatory control of the SEC and relevant security laws. I ain't even got to go into the whole story, but that's what it's CNB. Well, let me let me see. Central to determining what well, okay, central to determining whether a security is being sold is how it is being sold in the reasonable expectations of uh, purchasers. Let's see. Pittman said the primary issue in determining whether cryptocurrencies and ICOs were securities was the expectation of a return by a third party, specifically whether there was a person or group that sponsored the creation and sale of the asset. And who played a significant role in this development and maintenance for the purchase of the asset the key is whether they are seeking a return on the investment if there's a centralized third party along with purchasers with an expectation of a return then it is likely a security hmm, give examples where cryptocurrencies would not be considered securities and would not okay so decentralized ha, decentralization is the key he even specifically said that bitcoin is not a security because it is decentralized boom there's no central party whose efforts. Okay, so when we look at Stellar X Plat, hmm, no. Let me, okay, let me read on. There's no central party whose efforts are a key determining factor in the enterprise. In addition, Ether is also not a security because the Ethereum network is also decentralized. 
So if you trade, let's just say I trade with only Bitcoin and Ethereum. Hmm. Bitmin did not address the security status of other cryptocurrencies, notably Ripple, which is the subject of a lawsuit alleging that it is a security, noting only that over time there may be other sufficiently decentralized networks and systems where regulating the tokens or coins that function on them as securities may not be required. Okay, because Stellar X does have coins on there that I believe are looked at as securities. Regarding ICOs, I don't care about ICOs right now. But now let me read that too. Um, he also acknowledged that some digital assets could be structured more like a consumer item than a security, particularly if the asset is purchased for personal use and not intended as an investment. Okay. He seemed to imply that these types of offerings, an investment in a book club or a golf club membership, for example, were likely not securities. Uh, Hinman defined the SEC strict interpretation of security laws, noting that there is an, there is excitement and a great deal of speculative interest around this new technology. Unfortunately, also there are there, are, there also are cases of fraud. He acknowledges that. Okay, that's the end. So, I, mean, I don't know what you guys can get from that uh, story. Nice breakdown, though. Bino, you still with me? Okay, seems like we lost Bino again. I'm um, going to finish up with the countdown. Coming in at number 12, we got IOTA. IOTA right now at 49 cents, down 1.2%. Okay, there you go. Coming in at number 13, we got Dash. Dash right now with 160 bucks, down 2.7%. Coming in at number 14, we got Binance. Uh, Binance coming in at $9.30, down 1.1%, uh, really. Coming in at number 15, we got Neem. Neem right now with 11 cents, up 6 Man, Neem had one hell of a run from... The night before yesterday, night before last night, into the today still up six point thirty five percent. Neem ran good. Um, coming in number sixteen, we got Neo. Neo right now trading at fifteen dollars and forty six cents, down two point four percent. Coming in at number seventeen, we got Ethereum Classic. Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. No, Binance seems to be following Ethereum Classic because Ethereum Classic goes down, Binance goes down. They were neck and neck at one point in time. I'm talking about the exact same price. I think when they were both nine dollars and fifty-four cents, and then Ethereum Classic start taking the lead as far as the decrease. But as it's been decreasing, Binance been following it pretty tight. So I like to see what happens when it gets to that eight dollar mark. Uh, coming in number eighteen, we got Tezos at a dollar twenty-four, down three point six percent. And coming in number nineteen, Zcash at one hundred and twenty-nine dollars, up two point three percent. And last but not least, we got coming in at number twenty, V Chain trading at less than a penny now, point zero zero nine. So that's what nine tenths of a penny. Is that what that would be? Point zero zero nine of a dollar, family. Um, down four point two percent. Down. Let's take a look at V Chain's chart real quick. Is that the one you were looking at, Bino? That you said looked it nice? Um, no, it wasn't V Chain. Look, broke out of that. Let's see. Let me see. Let's look at V Chain versus Bitcoin. Okay. So, hold on, let me see. I forgot who it was, but um, I had cut out earlier. I was gonna say that um, to touch base on what you were saying about the security tokens and stuff like that, we could definitely see real soon the um, instead of ICO, they're talking about doing STOs, uh, security token offerings. Mm, yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. Man. And then um, Polymath is uh one of those platforms that was gonna be um, I guess trying to lead the way in creating uh security token offerings. Uh, polymath they they uh up running let me see what they we're going to take a look at them next so take a look at this we, we look at v chain we came down we had a nice bounce we let me see broke through 38.50 we mean we made it barely out of 61 before coming back down uh slight support at 50 we broke through that kind of quick um no nah, in fact we rolled it we rolled close to the line not on top of it but we rolled closer to it we hitchhiked on 38 for a while before breaking down to 23. Right now, what we're looking at right now in the day chart is we just, just, just broke that major support. What's that? The support was 155. Right now, we're trading at 151. So watch out. Watch out with V. In fact, let me do this. Because that's major, breaking that support level right there. Let's see. Hmm. Because with it, with it breaking that support, now we got to look for. Let's see. We got support right there. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but let me go ahead and bring this up real quick. So that would be about right there. 
We'll pull this down to about right there. So where we at? We broke. Um, let me do, do, do. let me get rid of this one. There we go. So now I'm looking at the swing low and the swing high of our new. Let's see. Came down, hit 50. Ah, see. Touch point one, touch point two, touch point three. Well, we broke th through on the th third one on the 50%. When we look at it smaller, uh, on a smaller scale, broke through that. Um, met support at 61. Now we're headed down towards 78. The 78% retracement level is what's that? 138. So you got a nice little wow to uh drop family. Now you do have support line at 145 we're at 151 right now so you do got a support level at 155 and under that 138 and if we continue to retrace another one at about 126 just remember these numbers remember this 145 145 138 and 126 145 138 and 126 now we see to come down we got rejected coming down towards this lower level of support right here um, get that on point. There we go. We rejected it. The bulls are trying to push us back up. We have to get above 155. Right now we have 152. And it may seem like, oh, that's nothing. Shit. I've seen these things struggle <laughs> at a Sato. Like, do Satoshis make the difference? They just struggle there. Don't want to break it. You know what I mean? I've seen it time and time again. Um, so V chain. V chain breaking major support levels in the downtrend. Um, I will wait for some sort of sort of stability, actually. I mean, even if you, you know, people are like, oh, I want to get in on the low side, so why don't I get in now? Because shit, keep going down, especially if you don't know about stop limits. Even if you were to wait for it to get back above 167 or some sort of, uh, some sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Confirmation. You know what I mean? You still got a nice run up from there as far as it breaking its, its previous highs. Because if it can get back up here, that's a hell of a feat coming from where it's at right now. You know what I mean? So uh, real quick, let's take a look and see who the top runners are. Oh, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Let me get that pulled back up. I apologize. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Let's see who the top runners in the game are. We got Ethera, um, Nexo, Decentraland, Neem, Power Ledger, Basic Attention Token, Chainlink, who's been running for a while, um, Komodo, Zcat. <laughs> Man, Dropple. Hey, Dropple been, Dropple been keeping his head above water, boy. I don't know if people been paying attention. Zcash, Dropple, Quash. In fact, Dropple's beating out XRP, Maker, Mona. Beating out some of the other ones right now as far as games. So let's see if we can start at the basic, though. He yeah, they didn't right. do something about that uh, $5 transaction fee, though. Oh, yeah, crucial. Crucial, crucial, crucial $5. Hey, it's like that for a couple of them over there. I sent some Bitcoin out. And I, you know what I did? That is, what's that? Is that just dropping? I'm trying to think. Let me see. You know, I sent my money from that platform back. I was trying to think what they charged. I think that's Tidex that was doing that, bro. I don't know if that's oh, dropping. Okay. I think that's the Tidex exchange market that's charging those fees. Um, what do I want to bring up? It wasn't this. Let's look at these here real quick. I want to see what platform this is on. Trading at only 196 sats. I'm telling you, I don't really pay attention to this USD. Right? This is what I'd be concerned about. It's only 196 sats right now. 5,964 GUI. Um, let me see what market it's on. Because when you're trading it, this is the thing I want people to comprehend. Unless, unless you are trading in USD or versus USDT. Or, you know, even I, I, I guess you could say one of the stable top coins, but I've seen them go to the dollar fifty before. I've never seen USD really do that. I mean USDT do that, but um unless you're trading in those, you really can't say you really can't go off the dollar amount of what you're trading in. Because you can see this 196, shoot up 10 or shoot down 10 and see this right here barely move. You'll still be at a penny. Now, these micro cents might move. You might go from 1, 2, 5, 40 something or 1, 2, 5, 30 something, but that penny ain't going to move. And while you're sitting there waiting for that penny to move, these sats, these Satoshis is running up, down, up, down, up, down. And you're either losing, winning, losing, or winning. So this is available on Token Store. I never heard of Token Store. Byte BTC. I, got, I only got $46,000. <laughs> we got seven Bitcoin over there, family. Go over there and get caught if you want to. Tron Classic, Ice Rock Mining. They got a bunch of uh, 
ain't gonna call them bullshit tokens, but I mean, a bunch of tokens I've never heard of. And, and hence, remember, we got 2,094 crypto. That's a lot of coins, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if we could run through, like, that's a lot of coins. Man, that's a lot of coins. So, I, I doubt we're gonna find Ethereum. Oh, you know, we might be able to find it though. Hmm. On Coin Signal. Are we forgetting about them? No, oh, yeah, definitely. Let's see. Take a look at uh, the top runners real quick. Now, something else I want to show everyone um, Coin360. I like this platform right here because it gives you a wide array and shows you, you know, color coded what's up, what's down. Um, you know, you can come in here and see what everything is. Now, what I like about it is right now we're looking at present. I want to break this down. I want to look at the top 200 gainers, but I want to look at one day performance. I want to see the top runners over the last seven days. And I only want to look at it in USD. I want to look at it in BTC and SATs. I want to see who's up and down in SATs. That's good. So, name over the last seven days, we got gains of 19.75%. Um, up, look only up eight. What's that? One, three, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one thousand. That's eighteen hundred stats. That is up. You gotta be. You gotta be. But what, what we have to comprehend and start being able to talk in is in the stats. You gotta be able to. You know, I got eighteen, or one hundred and fifty, or one thousand, or two thousand, or two hundred thousand, or one million, or whatever the case may be. But right now, Neem is up eighteen hundred stats over the last seven days. So you would multiply. This is what you would do. And I had to help an individual with this yesterday. When you're looking at stats, you're trying to see what your profit is. What you want to do is look at it or, or your loss. You want to look at the amount of sats that the difference between your buy in and the current price, whatever that difference is, you want to multiply that by how many I was going to say shares, but how many coins you have. That alone is going to give you your profit or loss in sats, meaning you're going to have excess amount of or um, decreased amount of, you know what I mean? Uh, boss over here, brothers of the struggle, up forty three point sixty percent. Damn. Hmm. Let's see. Where's that at? Uh, man, I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Ooh, boss is a cryptocurrency platform that enables the development and develop the development and deployment of trust contracts. Oh shit. Um, uh, trust contracts, which are decidable and approachable framework for creating and executing contracts on the block. Boom. Man, this this new world is that's bro. This you know, I don't think people get it, man. Let me see. I'm definitely about to uh, follow them. This is a new world that is coming into play, family. Y'all, did y'all comprehend? I thought I need some of the Morris brothers, some of the the, the uh, secure party slash predator brothers over here to, to to actually look at some of the stuff with me. Cause when we look at this right here, this is a platform that enables the development and deployment of trust contracts. Man, do y'all know what a trust contract is? That's deep. That's, I'm definitely um I'm on that one. <laughs> I'm on that one. Um, up forty three percent. E equals MC. I remember we was uh messing with Einsteinium over there on uh. Oh yeah, <laughs> EMC too. Uh huh. MC thought it is to go to raise capital for leading scientists for research. EMC two is a means for doing so, and it's built with the same idea minus taking token and orbit coin, a script coin using the Komodo gravity well with a fifty percent block reduction in sixty second block time. You see, algorithm is scripts. Last seven days, you get a gain of 21%. That's nice. Look at these gains 50% over the last seven days. Um, Only a dollar 40. That's pure coin. Damn. And then, see, this is why I tell people you got to be patient. It'd be a lot of people be there, like, man, is it going to shoot off right now? Like, is it going to take, like, what? Like, come on, man, knock it off. Like, <laughs> there's not enough. Um, If it shot off, you should be mad because that means you missed a run. Ex- exactly. Exactly. Look at smart. I'm fucking get happy when that shit run up. Hey, I'm saying they want to buy in on the run ups. That's the misconception. They want to buy the run up. They don't even want to buy the man, beforehand. You know what I mean? You like, better right wait now, for that sell off. Let's see. Let's look at this in a different route. Boom. All right. This this right here is your is, is your, your your hunting ground. This is what you want to look at when you're looking for coins. Then, but I mean, in a, in, in in a way, you know what I mean. You don't want to look at that. you see that uh what is that veritasium? Where we at? Uh right here, Verte- yeah. 2644. Four, four. Damn, I ain't see that. And this, yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. 
11. Uh, Well, if one is three, yeah, I'm looking at all these numbers now. Hey, that's a lick though, a 26% discount on Vertage. Like, and, and I've seen Vertage constantly on the on the runners list. Top oh one. yeah, Vertage was that should have been around for a minute. That was out during the run. Let's see, we got uh, what is it? More? I thought that was Maker. Uh, do 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 do. Is this the Napoleon X? I thought that was MPX, the original. We got Noah Coin. Let me see. Let me try to see if I can do on a uh shorten this up. Let's look at okay. Hmm. Block size dependent on market cap or volume. Market cap. Okay, so yeah, these these are the ones with the biggest market cap. So I guess that's who I want to look at. Because you can have volume come in on any coin, but the market cap be shit. So yeah. the biggest market caps. And what they're showing you, like you got the wave tokens right here. You got counterparty. That's something else I wanted to talk to you about, Bino. Counterparty. I was listening to a uh I'm gonna send you the uh the, the link uh to uh man, what's the dude name? Chat with Trez. I'm gonna send you some counterparty. We need to revisit counterparties. Right, it's, like a maker. it's a 650 USD. Yeah, that's what I figured that was. That's what I figured that MK MKR was. Yeah, maker. Yeah, that's that that's that maker coin, right? Um, but see here it says mark space. Make it don't say mark space. What well, hold on, let me see. Hmm. Let me see real quick. Are they the same? Is mark space maker? Let's see. Hell no. Make it right now. No, nah, that's something different. No way to make a form. No, that's something totally different. Make it 650 bucks. This whatever's on this, whatever this. So maker, I don't know. Oh, you know what? We looking at it wrong. Maker MKR. We looking at MRK. That's where we got it wrong. That we looking at MRK. Maker is MKR. Um, and maker's probably in the top top leads. Let me see. Crypto night. Mixed algorithm category. You got your proof of stake coin for anyone that want to know. Look, Pi coin. <laughs> For a sass, Bino. For a sass, me. Mm -hmm. I, I think me and um Ravon James were the ones that brought that one to the community, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I jumped on first and then Trevon uh jumped on uh second. Let me see, you got your X13 coins, your DPOS coins, your SHA 256s, other, uh, I guess whatever that means. You got your script, your X11, your bit shares, like man, so many different categories out here. And you got your Ethereum tokens. Let's see. So moving right along from that. Moving right along from that. Um, let me see what time is it? Nine o'clock. Hmm. Let's see. Stellar X. Ah, okay. Very interesting. When we look at the Stellar X platform, right? And we look at some of the tokens that were over there. We were talking about uh Great Rising, Great Rising, Miss Hickman. How we doing? NPC 1553. What's going on with you, bro? Peace, peace, peace. Um, this is one such token that I came across. It was real interesting because I've been looking a lot at Malta and a lot of the companies that have been moving to Malta, a lot of cryptocurrency companies and United States companies. You know what I mean? And we look at this cryptocurrency, Crypto Tari. Let's see. Let's go market. Let's see. Let's look at native coin. Where are we at? Where are we at? Hmm. There we go. Right now they got thirty three hundred forty nine thousand. Let's see what they spread like. Got a four point eighty five percent spread. Pretty much flat line right now. But the 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 token and what they got or what they say they have going on is interesting. Now this picture speaks volumes. I don't know what the hell is going on, but this piece picture alone stood out to me. I'm like, okay. Uh, this says it's the only cryptocurrency that devotes a helping hand to those in need. The first digital currency issued to support the charitable activities of a sovereign state, the sovereign order of St. John of Jerusalem, Knights of Malta, Federation of Autonomous Pri uh, Priory, or the KMFAP. So let's see. KMFAP, is that it? Let's see. 
Let's just Google search them real quick. Okay, so the Sovereign Order of St. John of Jerusalem. I don't even want to hit their website first and foremost. Let's see. Sovereign Order of Cyprus Awards for High-Ranking Slovic. Slavic. Ha! Dig that. The Slavic leaders. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, the original slaves were these Slavs. This is where the word slave comes from. Slovakian. Slaves. Slav. In fact, crazy enough, my son was watching a comedy the other day. Being I swear to God, they said that. I recorded it. I'm going to post it on my Instagram page. Real crazy. <laughs> Sovereign Order of St. John, introduction, introduction, Minister of Foreign Affairs, 2018, the Sovereign Order. Knights of Malta, welcome to UN decision. I don't know if this is real, though. Hmm. I don't know, but you know what you think, man? Nah, it definitely doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Didn't, didn't look like something real to me. But look how old it is, though. 2008, 2007. Let's see. Okay, on December 17, 2017, by initiative and proposal of government of Hungary, uh, the General Assembly of the United Nations was unanimously decided to designate September 5th as an International Day of Charity. The date had a very special meaning since this was the day on which Venerable Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Nobel Peace Prize, passed away. The UN Assembly has invited all to commemorate the International Day of Charity by encouraging charity, including through education and public awareness, rising activities in harmony with the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights. The Magistral House of the Government of the State of the Sovereign Order of St. John of Jerusalem, Knights of Malta, or the KMFAP, Federation of Autonomous Priorities, wishes to warmly congratulate the government and the... This is just something they do. Since they abide by... Hmm, I don't know. It's interesting. That's all I want to say. It's interesting. Um, let me see. What is Cryptaria? Is a pre-mined cryptocurrency which can also be released into circulation through the charitable donations, instant payments and transactions, extremely low fees, safe, secure, and private. That's damn near every coin over there. Is. All right, who who buy Cryptaria? The Knights of Malta enjoy great respect throughout the world, credible cre credible to their ability to successfully help those in need through accomplishing a wide multitude of charity charity projects auspiciously. Notably, members are recognized professionals in their fields and successful business people. These individuals are committed to making crypto tari a common currency. It is planned to be accepted in widespread everyday, face in the words, it is planned to be accepted in widespread everyday use. Cryptari cards and ATMs are expected to be established at a later date as well. A lot of stuff planned and a lot of stuff expected. Cryptari <laughs> strengthens Firm, Firmarade International Operations. While purchasing, you support the work of Firmarade and charities alongside the Multi Cross Foundation. I right, look this shit up. Supported entity, the digital insurance of the historical coin of Sovereign Order of St. John of Jerusalem, Knights of Malta. I'm not about to say all that shit. Prince Jose, Grandmasters, H. G. Jorge Popper. Lieutenant General of Prime Minister of KMFAP. Mm. I don't know. Let's see. HRT. So I'm gonna go check out some of these TV. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. What is? It? Let's see. International Orphan Program supporting the education of orphan children in Cambodia, Hungary, and Anglo, Angola, Angola. Um, orphans Against Disaster. The participants of this new educational program, orphan children, receive pr practical knowledge about disaster relief, firefighting, and first aid. See, this, 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 this is what's getting me too. Being able to hold the melanated, the, I don't know, investiture ceremony. It's the pictures they got, like this right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. First off, like who? You know who he looks like. Damn, who this dude look? Man, dude look like uh, I can't think of his name. He off a movie though. He plays like a dictator. But okay, what was that? What is this? Okay, H E President of the Central African. Hold on, no. H E President of the Central African Republic receives H E Dr. Karlov A Nagy, Minister of Foreign Affairs of KM in two thousand and nine. I don't know. But you know, the shit might be legit. Not That's what I said. It, it, it said it was established or something like that in 07, 08. They were doing some shit. Hmm. 
investiture ceremony. Establishment of diplomatic and consular relations with Antigua and Barboda. Left H. E. Charles Fernandez, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and right H. E. Dr. Carl. Okay, that's the dude. Um, Grand Master with His Holiness John Paul II. Hmm. Lawrence Michael de Valetic. Orphans Against. Okay. They're like DJ Khaled. Hold on. Let's go back. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> Is that Khaled? Uh-huh. <laughs> Photo op. Let's see. All of Another which way. Can do again. Right, 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 right. Bitcoin could do. You right about that. There's a lot of coins out here that the function they have is just simple stuff that all the cryptos can do. Let me see. They got a 13, okay, 13.8 income for the benefits of Children Hospital charity concert organized by the Slovakian Grand Priory. Hmm. The Republic of Congo. It'd be a lot going on, man. We have no idea, man. These handshakes, contract. That oh, is yeah. A contract. Deep. Like, yeah. man. Establishment of diplomatic relationships with Sierra Leone. Look who these mother... I mean, look at... They damn near all African... Not, not all African countries, but there's a lot of melanated countries that they... uh getting a lot of um if these pictures are real and if what they're saying is real a lot of they're, they're getting a lot of establishing a lot of diplomatic relationships with a lot of these melanated um countries as a lot of other places are doing right now let me see use crypto crypto tari for storage of funds investment moving value and charitable donations total supply is only 100 million okay according to the objectors it should be the base unit of account in the facilitating medium for the transaction associated with the knights of malta its charities to lower boundaries and to make the whole process totally transparent. After careful evaluation of all aspects, there was no question that the Stellar Network is the most suitable carrier medium for the new Tari token. The choice alone makes Tari more usable in practice for the end user than most tokens used on other platforms. Our email address, leave a message. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna be the first, I'm gonna contact them. Let's look at a Twitter page, May 2nd. May 1st, April. Presale has also. <laughs> hey, did they presale and then stop? You ain't see nothing. Look, <laughs> we are pleased to introduce trading for Stellar Lumens. That was May 1st. Crypto market see green gains and bring Bitcoin over 9,000, which we can see that right now. ETH over 700, May 2nd. And that was it. You ain't hear nothing else from them. They only got 12 tweets. In and out. out, and they got in here, got that bread boy, got the got got on up out of there. They out there in Malta right now, chilling on the beach. Hey, I'm talking about super chilling. So, uh, let's see. Any questions? Any coin requests? Any of the sort? If not, we're gonna go ahead and end this. Now we went through the top twenty. Look at some of the top gainers. Um, went through Coin Three Sixty. This is this is your hunting ground, family. Remember that. I mean, you can look at look at what's running and wait for a pullback. If you want to do that, but for the most part, you're supposed to buy red and sell green. Remember, now boss coin. This is what I got to come back to. This is what I got to come back to and take a look at boss coin. They writing contracts, trust contracts over there. I want part and partial. An exclusive preview of the new wallet and desktop application. Ah, okay. What was that? Twenty one hours ago. Good. They up to date. Yesterday. Tag someone that makes awesome videos. Are you good at making YouTube videos? Show your skills and win amazing prizes. First prize, a trip. Okay. A visit to Korea to join the Boss, Kane Con- Boss, Boss Coin Conference on December 7th and $1,500 for, uh, okay. Let's see. What else they got to offer? Hold on. I, I'm, 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 I think I'm pretty fairly well at making videos. Let's see. How does the contest work? Yep. Definitely coming over here. Being you know, on anything you want to add, my, my dude? No. Nah, no, nah, you good. Let's see. Just definitely watch out for like uh that polymath. Oh yeah, polymath. And, um, I had an individual ask me yesterday, what are what are some of my long term holds for 2019? I'm only gonna give y'all one NPXS Pundi X. Pundi X, Pundi X, Pundi X. That thing is 25 <laughs> sats right now. I'm talking about you can load your Batman, and they giving the monthly airdrops. Proof of stake. Pundi X is the ish. In my opinion, 
With that being said, I'm going to end this now, family. Until the next video, this is the Mayor of Chicago Crypto Hustler, Bitcoin Block Bully. Peace, power, and prosperity, family. I am out of here.